Hello everyone, welcome back to Reese World. In today's video, we will be looking at how people transform the swamps of Bonaberry, Douala, Cameroon into mansions and castles. And also, we will be having a tour in Bonaberry and seeing how the place looks like. If this is your first time on this channel, you're highly welcome. And if you've been watching my videos, I just want to say a big thank you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, don't go without subscribing because every subscription here counts and every subscriber matters. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so each time I upload a new video, you will be notified. In case you don't know, Douala is the economic capital of Cameroon, inhabited mostly by French-speaking Cameroonians and Bonaberry located at the outskirts of Douala is mostly inhabited by English-speaking Cameroonians. Douala in general is close to the water table and Bonaberry in particular is mostly made up of swamps that people will claim to build mansions and castles as seen in this video. Here people carry ground from other areas and fill these swamps in order to make the soil firm and suitable for construction. I really don't see this as safe because water will remain water and only be water. One day it will come up and swallow the buildings. Um, <laughs> those are my thoughts though, so I don't know how true that is. This area has a lot of mosquitoes coming from the swamps and the heat in this area makes it so perfect for mosquito survivor. Since most of the companies in Douala are located here, the noise, pollution, congestion, traffic makes life uncomfortable here. But still, <laughs> people stay here and every day internally displaced persons running from the crisis in the north and southwest regions of Cameroon find themselves in this particular part of Douala because here is mostly inhabited by English-speaking Cameroonians, they can easily communicate with them. And, you know, Anglophones have their way of living and Francophones have their way of living. It's just kind of like a cultural way. It's not like some kind of difficult kind of thing. So, they will, Anglophones will mostly want to stick to Anglophones so they can understand each other better. So, guys, as you can see, this is the soil that has been filled in bags put here to reclaim this land. And I'm just looking at it. I don't know the magic this person will perform to build on these things. But someday, I'm sure when next I'll be passing here, there'll be a huge building there. But whatever the case is, the buildings kind of look so cool. Like it's more like a new found land. And guys, before you start asking me where is this particular place located, it is located at Bokom, Bokom in Bonaberry. Just directly behind Bokom petrol station i went there to visit the sister and i saw this place i was like no i have to let you guys see this because i had not experienced this where i come from in bamenda we don't reclaim land to do like maybe they do but my area they don't do that we build our land is dry and okay for building for construction so yeah are you guys seeing the kind of buildings that are in this area new buildings in fences they are really good buildings but my fear is this water i feel like it's going to swallow these buildings up one day i don't know how true my speculations are or yeah but it has good buildings it's kind of like a small london in bonaberry <laughs> i don't know why i use the word small london but yeah it's a small london you guys see the way they throw dirty things all over and the way the swamp is so <laughs> when coming here you have to be prepared for mosquito bites because mosquitoes have to deal with you and you see companies are just around and um, production companies so life here can be unbearable but it doesn't mean that it's, it's so bad it's not that bad it's it's good to an extent but yeah this is it and this is the main road into this the quarter that I was inside. So I was actually leaving the quarter back to to the main road and heading towards um, Bikoko. So when I left the place, I tried to like film the quarter and I discovered that most of these houses are newly constructed buildings and they look good. They are up to date. It's not like it's a new found area. We can say it's a new layout. 
because before now houses were not built here are you guys seeing somebody building this plant house in water i mean it's crazy the way people risk their lives to survive here in douala though in douala nothing is so new people even sleep under bridges look at water on the road it's very common especially now during this rainy season that's why when it rains you hear people's houses flooded all those type of things because of this kind of construction thing and guys i had to stop to buy granite bag in bamenda we don't have this like things are not that expensive i was shocked when i asked this woman that i wanted to buy raw granite from her she showed me one small um bucket how they call it this tatina bucket the one she has cut in the middle that tatina bucket should be two liters this small one she's putting granite inside yeah she told me that granite inside is a thousand francs and then in this cup is 500 francs then the other one the baby is take um, bringing is two thousand francs i was like wow <laughs> Maybe I should join the granite business because it seems like it's kind of profitable. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, but well, it's okay. Like, it's okay. We are in Douala, so it's fine. It's like these people here do better 300% gain, not 100%. So, it's it's fine. It's, it's really fine. It's good. <laughs> Let me not talk too much about it, but yeah, that is it. And I wanted to buy watermelon. She, she was asking me to take... As small as it looks. I don't know if you guys have really seen the sizes. But she asked me to give 1,000 for one. Like, must I eat watermelon? No. I'm not even sure if it's ripe. So, I'm, I'm not taking it. I let go. So, yeah. I'm on the highway. Going now towards Bikoko. Um, this place, I'm exactly at Carrefour Music. Yeah, I think that's how they call this place, Carrefour Music. There's always traffic in this particular place. I don't know why. At times, I feel like maybe it's the military that causes the traffic because whenever they are not on the road, the traffic is less. But when they are on the road, the traffic is just the way it is. Or maybe the people they send to control the traffic, they don't know how to control it well. That's why the traffic will always be there. Or is it that the roads are too small? I don't know for sure, but this particular position always. I don't care the time of the day. They always have traffic here. So when you're coming here, most of the times, we just prefer to take the other old road so that we will not have these difficulties with traffic. But yeah, at times cars just stop here. We are even trying to move. At times cars stop. Even bikes cannot move. It feels like... Everything is just trapped. And I thought they were going to do something, but not. Hey, you guys see, they are trying to reclaim that place. There was a pool of water here coming on this star, but they've reclaimed it to an extent. And soon, when it rains, water will now be flowing on this star. Everywhere will be looking like a small sea. Well, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know why they do this. And I've noticed something here in Douala. They don't build gutters. Like, it's not a normal thing for them to construct roads and then put gutters by the side of the road. They just start their roads and let it be the way it is. If you guys are seeing, there are no gutters. Maybe that's one of the reasons why we easily have floods on the road. Because if it rains, there will be water here on the road, like serious flooding. So when places are dry like this, that's good. But when it doesn't, we have water. So... The government needs to do something. You see traffic this way and traffic the other way. But you're passing. You're not seeing what exactly is causing that traffic. But this particular spot will be having its traffic. It's just like that. And yeah, we are going ahead. We are around um, St. Louis. You guys, the, the St. Louis, you know, in Bamenda. That's if you know St. Louis. St. Louis is a nursing school in Bamenda. They kind of have another campus here i don't know if they closed the one in bamenda i've not been there so i don't know exactly what's happening but there's another campus here st louis campus around here careful music that the that's operating here so we're around the place and yeah 
this is it just enjoy the video and please guys if you've been watching up to this level i just want to say thank you so much i am grateful for the effort and support you guys put in and hey guys this is nestle this is nestle company where they they, they produce milk um overtin yeah it's a milk milk dairy product company here in cameroon known as nestle so that is the company the the company is around the quarter sibek so yeah this is it and as i was saying please if you haven't subscribed don't go without subscribing please support me support my channel and when you're watching my videos guys please try to watch my videos to the end i am begging you guys please 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 i am here for you any suggestion don't forget or don't feel or don't feel shy in leaving your suggestion i'm open to suggestion so if you have any suggestion leave it in the comment section and i will get back to you and if you have any questions to ask just leave them in the comment section and i will get back to you this is Karifu Sibek and Trace Sibek. That is it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There's no such thing as Karifu Sibek. Or maybe there is. I'm not sure exactly. But that place is called Antre Sibek. I don't know why I decided to say it's Karifu Sibek. But yeah, you know, it's so hard when you're recording a video and then you have to do a voiceover. The places just pop up on the video and you 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 might mix the things you want to say. That That's what's happening. So yeah, guys, I'm sorry. And yeah, the sun was really, really hitting me directly on the score. That's why this other end of the video is looking the way it is. But yeah, it is the way it is. So this is it. We just passed Sibek and we are going ahead. Why am I showing you guys the sky? <laughs> okay, I think the sun was confusing me. That's why I had to show you guys the sky. <laughs> that's why i have to show you guys this guy please i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry guys as i was saying please don't go without subscribing just subscribe to my channel please and also share my video if you have the opportunity to share share it guys this is kingship kingship church the the church of one late prophet frank that died in cameroon he he went in for the what well, the election presidential election so he died yeah after that or something that's his church he he's the owner of that church that's kingship and then we are around um this gas afri gas there's a gas we use here in cameroon known as afri gas the company that is supplying the gas is just around here and few meters ahead we have scon that's synagogue church of all nations pastor tb joshua's church that is it we just passed the church that's the the branch here in cameroon that is it just here at um this is bikoko if i'm not mistaken this is Carrefour bikoko um they call it échange i don't know if i'm pronouncing it where échange is maybe it's something like a, a exchange what fly over there's a fly over here i think maybe that's how they call it in french and this is the park when you're going to the southwest region, you can take a car from here if you don't want to go to Garotier. And yeah, guys, I think this is where our journey ends. So thank you so, so much for watching from the beginning right up to this level. And don't go without subscribing again. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, leave your suggestions below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.